Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mergula and I am a senior in the San Francisco Bay Area who's really interested in finance. Today we'll be continuing part four of our student loan segment, which is about direct plus loans. So for a quick recap of part three. In part three, we covered private loans and then compared them to federal student loans. So if you haven't checked that out and are interested in learning more, I'd recommend checking, like I'd recommend checking out the video. I'll link it in the card. That being said, let's talk about direct plus loans. Direct plus loans are given to eligible parents and graduate and professional students. So as a result, there are two loan types, parent plus and graduate plus. For a direct plus loan, in order to qualify, you need to apply through FAFSA. And direct plus loans are given by the US Department of Education. For direct plus loans, there is a credit check involved. So as a result, I'd recommend that you ensure that you have a decent credit history before applying for one. However, there are exceptions, and so this is not a requirement. Finally, the maximum amount you can get through a direct plus loan is equal to the cost of attendance minus the total financial aid you're receiving. So that being said, let's see how they measure up against private loans and direct unsubsidized and direct subsidized loans. For PLUS loans, the interest rate is 6.28%, while for private loans, the interest rates vary depending on the loan terms. And for federal unsubsidized and federal subsidized student loans, your undergraduate interest rate is 3.73%. PLUS loans and private loans might require payments while you're in school, but federal unsubsidized and federal subsidized student loans don't require payments until six months after you graduate. For PLUS loans, there is a credit check performed. For private loans, it's most likely going to be performed, but it's not necessarily a given. Private loans most likely require a credit check or a cosigner. And for federal unsubsidized student loans and federal subsidized student loans, there is no credit check. For all three, your interest could be tax deductible. And for PLUS loans, you have four repayment plans available. For private loans, you have repayment plans depending on your lender and your loan terms. And finally, for federal unsubsidized student loans, there are several types. For PLUS loans, there are no prepayment penalties. Same thing for federal unsubsidized and federal subsidized student loans. And for private loans, you actually might have prepayment penalties. Keep in mind that all of this information is really general and that if you want to learn more, you should go to studentaid.gov. They have a lot of helpful information. And I'll make sure to link specific pages in the description. That being said, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you learned something. Please comment any questions you have below or any topics you'd like me to do in the future. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Thank you, bye.